Good day, kings and friends. My name is Erica, and this is another DIY video. I'm going to show you how to upgrade an area in your home um, for the holidays or just in general to spruce up your home using very inexpensive items. This is also, I guess I would call it a revamp, using what you already have to make it even better. And um, we're very inexpensive items. So without further ado, this is a glam DIY. Stay tuned. So you're going to need two containers, just any contain containers you have laying around. This is the revamp part. So I'm using, these were two money plants that I had. They died on me years ago, but I absolutely love the containers. So we're going to use these two containers. I love turning trash into treasure and revamping because you're making something so unique and different that people will pay tons of money for and you're doing it for little to nothing and it will be so unique. You'll also need some um, some type of spray paint. The color I'm choosing is metallic. I already had this on hand and it matches my decor. So you need some type of spray paint. Okay. You're going to need some of these cubes. Now, you can pick these up at the Dollar Tree. They're very expensive at your craft store, so just pick them up at the Dollar Tree. If you need the round one, they have the round ones. We're going to be using the, the squares. They also have the rectangles, and these come three. We're only going to be using two of them, okay? Now, you'll need some type of fabric of your choice. Now, this is just my stash. Um... Save your money, kings and queens. You can also pick these up at the Dollar Tree. Okay, I'm trying to keep this video as budget-friendly as possible. So, the fabric I'm using today is this one. And this one, you can find at the Dollar Tree. Okay. Now, look at this. All of this, kings and queens. These picks, oh yeah, we're getting ready for the holidays. So let me show you what you'll need to make it so glam. And again, check out your local Dollar Tree first. And check out my hauls. I do weekly hauls every week because different times of the year they come out with different ones. So you're going to need at least eight different picks, kings and queens. And guess what? All of these I found at the Dollar Tree. Okay, kings and queens, that spray paint, I can't get it out. It's stuck. So here's an alternative method. If you decide to hand paint, this is the paint I'm using from the Dollar Tree. It's the metallic acrylic paint. So this is a cheaper method. I'm also going to use some nail polish remover just to clean this really, really good since I'm painting it now so the paint can really catch. I just noticed over the years this worked really good to clean so my paint could stick. And this is optional. This diamond wrap, I just want to accent it to match, you know, some of the other um, decor that it's going to be around. Just to be a little extra, but this is optional. So kings and queens, um, last night I did, remember this purple look? This is a coat and a half. Okay. And, um, I'm going to do this one today. See? And I'm going to put another coat on here. Look how much coverage already with this paint. So 
It's hard trying to do it for the camera, you know? <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna use these strips. It's diamond wrap. It come in the width of five. I cut it into two strips because the two strips will match the width of um, the item that's gonna be sitting on. Okay, kings and queens. So I lined up. I have four strips. You're gonna need four strips cut into two width for each base. Now, this is the extra step. This is just, you know, who watch my DIY videos. I just do this extra step just to clean, make it real clean. I burn the edges so you won't see those little edges on there. See the edges there. Just take your lighter and go down on it. Let me show you the difference. And these are clean edges and these still have that little strip on it see see the edges there and see here you have none just a cleaner edge Okay, kings and queens, I want to give you all another tip. Now, see these glue sticks? They come in different colors. This one is a silver glitter glue stick. I chose to use this one today because opposed to the cloudy ones or the clear ones, like if you have any residue left or seeping out, it will give it an extra little oomph because it'll show glitter instead of showing the glue. So that way they won't see the um, imperfections. They'll just see glitter. It'll look like part of the decor. Okay. Okay. 
Kings and Queens, as you can see, I messed up up there, which I'm glad that happened because as you can see, it's a good reason I use this glue stick. So when it all blends in, it's going to look like it's part of the decor. Okay. And also, um, have you some toothpicks handy to clean up the webs because with the toothpicks, it'll just clean up all the little extra webs really, really easily. Now, Kings and Queens, if you want to make this permanent, use you some Gorilla Glue. Preferably the one that says clear. I don't know if y'all can see that. It says clear grip because it will go on clear and it will be a permanent bond. I'm going to be changing mine out over time. So I did just use the hot glue gun. But if you want to sell it or make it permanent, you get you some of that Gorilla Glue. Make sure it's the clear grip. That way it goes on clear. Okay. Okay, kings and queens, so this is where the foam comes into play. Now, this particular foam for this piece is, these are the dimensions here, if you're interested. So, I'm just going to take the foam and place it directly, and I just place it directly into there and pushed it down like so. Now, if your foam is too big, you can still use it to make it fit the circumference of what you're trying to fit it into. Just get you a box cutter. And this is easily, it can easily be cut. See, you can cut it to the size you like. Okay? and points I'm going in order the longer ones are going to be to the back and it's going to go all the way up into the shorter ones
Okay, kings and queens, I'm gonna give you another tip. I'm putting these on opposite ends in my living room. So the pick that I have on one side is gonna be one on the left side, one will be on the right side. Now, if you're doing center pieces, you can have them exactly the same because you want it to look balanced. So if you're gonna put your holly berries on the right side of this one, you wanna make sure you put it on the left side of this one so it could balance out if that makes sense. Okay, for the next step. Now you all see how the green is showing there. That's where your tool come in. That's where this steps comes in. So basically we're just gonna flip it around, okay? Now you can measure this or you could just stuff it. I'm gonna cut off a little bit of it. Okay, so I have this here and I'm just gonna play with it just to cover up the foam in the inside. Okay, kings and queens, one is showing you the front view and one is showing you the side view. Now this greenery, you could totally take off. Um, I just kept it on because in my living room where I'm gonna have it staged, I have a lot of green plants, so it'll just kind of tie in. And see that just covered up the greenery there. And as you see, I, the reason I put the two strips is because this DIY I did years ago, this flower pot, well, I made it into a flower pot. It has two strips, so it'll be cohesive. And, um, yeah, I'll show you all where I staged it. You'll see where I staged it when I do my, um, my room tour. Not my room tour, y'all. <laughs> when I change over my living room for the new year, you'll see where they're actually placed at. Okay. So tap that notification bell twice, kings and queens, so you won't miss when I upload new videos. This is the side, and this is gonna be the front. Okay. And I might just, I might cut those, um, the green off, but like I said, it's gonna blend in. You all will see it in the upcoming video, kings and queens. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day and a beautiful evening. I, 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 I begin to...